So for our tree, we also need to calculate the height. We're going to have two methods. The first method is a public method. It's going to just return the int, and it's not going to accept any arguments, and it's just going to return the height. And so if we have an empty tree, so if root is equal to null, our height, so we return 0. Otherwise, we're just going to return the height of the tree. Um, and in fact, we're just going to subtract 1 from that. And you'll see why we subtract 1 um, in just a second. So return the height of the root minus 1. So we're going to overload our height method with a height method that takes a single node kv. And for any point in the tree, the height is the longest path on either side. So at the root node here, I've got one, two, three children on the left, and I've got one, two children on the right. So the height is going to be three. At this node, I've got two edges on the left. I've got one edge on the right, so my height is 2. And notice that the height, so here the height is 3. Here the height is 2. The height is the number of edges, not the number of nodes. So I've been given a node. So if the node is null, then my height is 0. Okay. If I'm down here, my height is 0. Now what I need to do is I need to get my left height and my right height. So I'm going to say int left height is equal to the height at node.left. So the height at node.left plus 1 plus 1 for the edge that I am at. And int right height is height at node dot right plus 1. Plus 1 for the edge that, I've, uh, that I'm at. And now all I need to ask is if left height is greater than right height, return left height. Otherwise, I'm just going to return right height. Okay? If I get to a node that's null, I don't have any height. Otherwise, I say, what's the height of my left? The height of my left says, I don't know. What's the height of my left? The height of my left says, I don't know. What's the height of my left? That says, I don't know. We promise that we're going to calculate the height on the left. And eventually, we get to a null, so we return 0. At some point, we get back to our promise where we said, OK, we promised that we were going to return the height on the left. Now, let's calculate the height on the right. And so we go down the right tree. Uh, we make a promise that we're going to do that. At some point, we get back because we're done. And so we just say, is left bigger than right? Return left. Otherwise, return right. So we have a nice, simple, recursive method for calculating the height on a tree.